how you guys doing welcome back to the channel um today we probably playing or learning about the most famous person on this list jackie robinson um so without any further ado let's hop into it in many ways jackie roosevelt robinson was the beginning but also the end he was the beginning of change not only in baseball but in american society his breaking of the color barrier also signaled the end of the Negro Leagues. And a lot of people don't know that Jackie Robinson's illustrious professional baseball career began in Kansas City in 1945 with the Kansas City Monarchs. The question that is so commonly posed to me is, was he the best player in the Negro Leagues? And the answer is no. There were other Negro League veterans who were far superior baseball players to Jackie Robinson. And that is not to disparage Jackie Robinson because he is one of the greatest athletes in American sports history. He was a four sports star at UCLA. Baseball was his weakest sport, but Jackie Robinson was absolutely the right man to be the first. So he's college educated. He had served in the military. He was disciplined. He would become married to the beautiful Rachel Robinson. He was stable. You see, Jackie had what I like to refer to as the intangible that better prepared him to deal with the immense racial hatred that he would be confronted with, which is part of the reason why he was the chosen one to break Major League Baseball's color barrier. Here's All right. Get on base two times. Oh my god. I got on base. It doesn't say how. Okay, nice. Oh. They kind of sink going away. I guess it didn't matter. There we go. Nice little double there. Or not. Certainly, in my own opinion, had it not been for World War II, I don't think Jackie Robinson gets invited to try out for the Monarchs. The Monarchs roster had been decimated by World War II. Buck O'Neill serving in the Navy. Hank Thompson, he serving in the Army. Monarchs Hall of Fame outfielder Willard Brown is serving in the Army. So if the Monarchs have their full roster intact, Jackie Robinson never gets invited to try out. And how would history have been altered? So one out, nobody on. Here's a speed threat, Jackie Robinson. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. I did not see what we had to do, but First offering, I assume it involves getting a hit. It's remarkable to think about how Jackie Robinson was taking stands against racism well before That's a double. he ever entered professional baseball, especially during his time in the military. Throws to second, no, it's not. and he's out, trying for two. Oh, extra base hits. Okay, yeah. On the ground is short. Throw to first is in time. And the inning is over. All right, one double. Down towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double. Not gonna risk an out. Need another at bat, so all right, we're good. That's crush. One run across. Now two runs score. And they take a two-run lead. A two 
run double. Jackie Robinson would make his Kansas City Monarch debut on May 6, 1945. He goes one for four with a run-scoring double and stole the base in the Monarchs' win over the Chicago American Giants. He was off and running. He would put together a stellar 1945 season with the Monarchs, one worthy of him being invited to play in the East-West All-Star Game. Of course, by the end of the 1945 season, Jackie had disappeared. He was plucked away by the Brooklyn Dodgers. Another attempt. And stepping in is the speedy Jackie Robinson. There we go. Back up the middle and it gets through. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And Get out of here. Back to right. And it's a one out. We're going three. Should be extra bases. Robinson, round second, heads for third. The tag, and that's out number Sorry. three. Sorry, all right. Over. Hit a base hit. Downstairs Just need a base hit. Chris, before Jackie played a single game for the Monarchs, he actually had a tryout for the there we major go. leagues a few weeks earlier. And a base All hit. All right, Jackie. Just kind of slice that one into center. Jackie did not like his time in the Negro Leagues. And it wasn't because he didn't have great respect for the talent that was there in the Negro Leagues. Jackie Robinson hated the fact that he had to play in a Negro Leagues. Jackie's mindset was that if I have the talent, I should be able to play in whatever league is available to me. And Jim Crow did not sit very well with Jackie Robinson. He was Los Angeles, he's California. So he wasn't accustomed to some of the things that the players in the Negro Leagues were having to endure. Long bus rides, going into towns where you weren't sure where you could get something to eat or have a place to stay. So life in the Negro Leagues left a bit of a sour taste in Jackie Robinson's mouth. This is empty one away, and here is... All right, Robinson. need to get on base three times in two games. Drive caught. Singing the life of a Negro Leagues player could be really hard. Jackie and the Monarchs once took a bus from Kansas City more than 24 hours east of Philadelphia. Played a doubleheader the day they oh got there. Oh my God, Jackie! The next day, Glass racing over to make the catch. It was a hard life, Boog, and that's before you even factor in the discrimination they face. You know, most restaurants and hotels wouldn't even allow them in. Jackie said finding even a passable place to eat was a problem almost every day. And that players felt lucky if they could get a plate of cold cuts. Oh my god, man. And I can't even reset this. I'll wait till the whole next game and reset it. Like. Because of the discrimination in America, a lot of Negro Leagues players preferred to play the Mexican League. A lot of them were all-time greats like Josh Gibson, Ray Dandridge, and Willie Wells. First pitch, not close. And fouled off. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Oh, my. Nah, he's bringing a noodle bat now. Come on, man. You can't even restart these things. You gotta go. One down. Now it's the shortstop, Jackie Robinson.
Please drop. All right, one. I just gotta go through for three here. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Awesome play yeah. there. You know, you hear about a lot of guys who are two or three sports stars in college. Jackie Robinson. Oh, my. What am I doing, man? It's about, I'm quitting this. Ah, so frustrated. No, whatever. I'll just play it. Never know what happens, right? Never know what might happen. The other way. And foul ball. All right. Give me one more at bat, please. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. One more at bat. One more at bat. All right, thank you. Just a cookie down the middle. Come on, Jackie. You dream about one's in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. It's got to be a strike. The next to hit takes ball one. This has to be a strike. Yes, let's go. God dang, let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, three hits. All right. Just did that, so. That's falling. All right. Never mind. Okay. Just in one game where. Oh, yeah, it's not the same. Damn. But he proved he was more than good enough for the competition. This looks like extra bases. Robinson into second. All right. He's got a double. Waste no time there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps. There we go. He'll feel real good about that one. And that's a base hit. Just need one more hit and we'll be out of here. Clearly he was ready to hit right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. There we go. And that's gonna get into the Makes the I'm gonna get a triple, just why not? not stopping, he's nah, I'm out. Sorry. In the Dodger half of the second. Jackie Robinson leads off. Well, Jackie Robinson was a tremendously gifted athlete. He quickly adopted that style of play that was signature Negro League baseball. Bold, brash, aggressive. And that's what he took with him over to Major League Baseball. And he was driving Major League pitchers crazy by stealing bases and particularly his knack for stealing home. And of course, that was his nod to the Negro. Got to steal one base. Watching the pitcher, watching the pitcher, watching the pitcher. I'm out of here. Let's go. Okay. Ties again. Watching the picture, watching the picture. I probably take another lead then. Now back in safely at first. Nobody out, runner at first. Not in time. He's safe. So you're not gonna let me take a two step lead, I guess. Bro, all right. BS. Keep throwing over here, like. And the pitch. Here goes Jackie. In the I got that nice. And there's no throw. He's in there at second with a stolen base.
Jackie Robinson walks out on that field on April 15, 1947, and I draw the parallel of Jackie Robinson's breaking of the color barrier to carrying the same euphoria that we saw as a nation when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. And for black folks, Jackie Robinson's debut with the Brooklyn Dodgers, he became the first man to walk on the moon. 21 million black folks were counting on him and carrying the weight of an entire race, being thrust into a world where no one wanted you to be there. It was just a thing of beauty. It was electrifying and it was exciting and it was truly captivating. There we go, baby. First at bat, first angel. We were counting on Jackie to succeed. Because his success was seen as advancement for a race of people who had been belittled for so long. That is an enormous amount of pressure for any one man to have to bear. In a game that is predicated on failure, he can't fail. Who knows how long it would have been before another black man would have gotten the opportunity to play in the major league. Somehow, Jackie Robinson summoned the will to perform at an incredible level. He earned the very first Rookie of the Year award, and he did so carrying the weight of an entire race of people on his shoulders. All right, come on. There we go. Swing and a line drive. Low under it, but works. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. All right, come on, Jackie. Inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like you. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Job, Jackie. Here at the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, we make the bold assertion that Jackie Robinson's breaking of the color barrier wasn't just a part of the civil rights movement. It was the beginning. This is 1947. This is before Brown versus the Board of Education. This is before Rosa Parks refused to move to the back of the bus. As my dear friend, the late great Buck O'Neill would so eloquently say, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was merely a sophomore at Morehouse College when Robinson signs his contract to play in the Brooklyn Dodgers organization. President Harry S. Truman would not integrate the armed forces until a year after Jackie. So for all intents and purposes, this is what started the ball of social progress rolling in our country. So for those of you who subscribe to the belief that one person cannot invoke change, you need to look no further than one Jackie Robinson. And opposing players, he talked about all the people who are going to be anti. He said, we're going to have some people on our side, but we really are not going to have very many allies. We're going to have to do this thing simply by the box score. Yeah, that's great. Can't imagine how, what he, he went through uh, playing like that. You know, people, everybody hating on him trying to play baseball. Couldn't have been fun. Um, car, pretty good car. I'm sure he would get another one. He always gets like a couple cars on the show, so. But this car is pretty good. Good contact. Good probably go off the bench. There's a bench bag of speed. Um, But we are another one down. Uh, thank everybody for watching. Next time we'll be learning about John Donaldson. Um, but until then, I'll catch you later. Peace out.